Welcome back. Let's talk iPhone cases. Many people make the mistake of just buying an Apple case like this leather one. It's the easy option, but there are other cases out there that might better fit your need. Let's dive in. I'm Supreet and we cover smartphones and photography on this channel. So if you'd like to learn more about shooting photos and videos with your iPhone, join our small community. Also, if you have a 12 Pro, check out my ProRAW videos. ProRAW is awesome. First, let's cover the elephant in the room, MagSafe. Apple's iPhone 12 cases are designed to allow for wireless charging. I personally don't use MagSafe because I prefer the fastest charging that you can get, which is when you use a 20 watt charger like this one from Apple. Once you taste full speed, it's hard to go back. MagSafe also allows for attachments like this wallet case that Apple makes. It looks cool, but it slides off rather easily, which can be troublesome when sliding this in and out of pockets. This is where a case like this Ghost Tech Exec comes in, which also has a detachable wallet, but it's better designed than Apple's. Let's take a look. Now the difference is that this wallet attachment here doesn't slide up or down, so there's no risk when putting this into pockets. But you can still detach it, but you can only do that in one direction, like this. And then as you would like, you can snap it back into place. It's a good design and very seamless. The case is also a nice textured rubber and it feels pretty good. And here's a comparison of both of the wallet attachments. Now obviously Apple's is a little more premium with the leather build and the stitching, but you have to keep in mind that the Ghost Tech case with the wallet attachment is far cheaper than just this Apple wallet. Now what if you don't care about the wallet and just want protection for your phone? Well then you just need to decide how much protection you need. And here are some Ghost Tech examples to showcase this. Thanks to Ghost Tech for providing these review samples for this video. These provide a nice overview of the options out there. The last case we cover is quite impressive. So first, for lightweight protection, we have the Covert. And this is a clear case. Unlike other clear cases, it actually has some cushioning in the corners here with these orange highlights for some drop protection. And another cool feature is this added kickstand down here to prop up your phone to watch videos. Pretty cool. The next step up is the Atomic Slim. And as you can see, this one has a 12 feet drop rating. If we take a closer look, we can see this case has a harder shell, which resists any sort of pressure from the sides. The back is some sort of clear plastic, which is nice providing that toughness. And on the inside, we see these orange spacers, which are also providing cushioning for the drops. Pretty cool design, and even on the sides, we still have some grippy material so it's easy to hold on to, even though it might be a little bit slipperier up here. Now for the most protection, we have to go up to the iron armor. And even this box is thicker than the others. So let's take a look at this one. Now a cool thing about this case is that it actually comes with a belt clip which it snaps off here. And you can see the clip right here. It's pretty solid, rotates as you would expect. And you can just snap the phone in. Now, if we take a look at the case, this looks a little more rugged than the one before. It has a kickstand, which is nice to see again. This one is definitely more rugged. Uh, we can slide this little bottom piece and it locks it in. So this is not going anywhere. We just fold it back in to close. It also has a single card holder on the side, so if you want to carry like a credit card or a driver's license, it can slide in right here. And overall the build is quite nice. It even comes with a screen protector, which is a nice touch. So this case is actually a two-piece case to provide that added protection. So you can see here this back actually comes off. So this is actually harder, and this is softer on the front. So these combined together I will provide that, uh, that added strength. Now let's look at the most impressive case of the bunch, 
this IP68 nautical case, which means it can go 20 feet deep for one hour. And you might be thinking, well, to do that, it must be watertight, right? And that is exactly correct. But unlike most watertight cases, this is remarkably thin. I mean, look at this. I mean, I'm just holding the, the back piece and the front piece together here, but this is pretty amazing. Now, if we take a closer look at this case, this is the front here. You can see, you know, we have the plastic here along with the seals, as you'd expect. Uh, there's protection on the corners for drops. There's texture on the sides to help you hold on to this thing. Now, if you look at the camera cutout, this is pretty cool. We have access to all three cameras, um, as well as the flash. And something cool I noted was this flash cutout actually has kind of a tunnel that they've made so that the flash doesn't interfere with your images. So if you're into taking underwater photos and videos, this case is a pretty good option. Because this camera access here is pretty well designed. If you look at the back here, we can actually see there's padding in between the lenses as well to kind of give a nice tight seal. So there we go. Hopefully this gives you an overview of the types of cases to consider for your iPhone 12. I've added links to everything down below. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.